Hello everyone, in this 17th lesson of how to make your first game in Unity we are going to work with our pause menu and get some of our buttons working correctly. Before we get into it remember to subscribe to see more and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload, it really helps me out. Now on with the show. So up until now we have a nice simple script that whenever we press the escape button, also known as the cancel button, it will indeed pause our game, bring up a menu and if we press it again it will unpause and make that pause menu disappear. So we want the buttons on that menu to function, well, as they should do. For example when we press resume we want the resume to actually occur. So to do that we need to go into our pause game script. and. All we really, really need to do here is replicate these few lines of code and make everything work as it should do. So to do that, we need to create an extra method, one for the resume and one for restarting the level. Now, the way these methods work is exactly the same as a standard method. However, the button needs the method to be public, otherwise it can't technically read it. So for the button to be able to read a method you can think of it as the method just needs to be public and the method can be called anything you want. So let's go beneath the update method and let's have the word public void and we'll call this unpause game open close bracket open curly bracket and as I said we just need to replicate these few lines of code in this method. So literally, copy and paste. So we can actually use this to our advantage because regardless of whether we press the resume button or whether we press the escape button, the exact same thing will occur, which means that we're not going to have any errors should we want to pause it again afterwards. So that's how resuming the game works with a button. But how do we restart the level with a button? Well, it's pretty much the same thing as what we did with our global time. When we run out of time or whenever we die, we can just use the same lines of code there. So let's create another method for that other button. Public void restart level, open close bracket and open curly bracket. Now, because we're going to be dealing with scenes here, we do need to add in at the top the namespace using unity engine dot scene management semicolon and if we head to our global time script we will need to copy this line of code right here because that line takes us to our respawn scene so let's place that line of code into there now one extra thing we will have to do here is we will have to set the time scale back to one the reason being, if we don't, you will basically respawn in your level, but nothing will happen. Everything will be completely frozen because you are still setting the timescale as zero. You're never resetting it back to one on this button press. So you have to make sure that we take that line of code and place it before we change our scene. So time dot timescale equals one semicolon and save the script. So all we've done here is create two methods for two buttons and that's as easy as it is, it's, it's sim as simple as that. The next step is to apply those methods directly to those buttons or rather tell the button which set of instructions it has to follow if it is pressed. So let's head back into Unity and let's let it compile. All good. So remember it is on the globals object and it's down there, pause game. So let's go to our first button in canvas and it is the resume button. Now down here you'll notice it says list is empty. We need to create something in here so let's press the plus button. We now need to define which object the set of instructions is going to be on and it's going to be on globals. So drag and drop to there. You'll notice this no function here highlights. Let's click the drop down menu and rather than no function, we want to go to our pause game script and we want it to run on pause game. So what we've done here is we have told this button that whenever it's clicked, we need to run the set of instructions that is in the unpause game method that is contained in globals. 
So we can do the exact same thing for restart. Let's click on the plus. Let's drag globals over here. No function is lit up, so let's click the drop-down menu. Let's go to pause game, and we want to restart level with that second button. Now, both of those buttons have a set of instructions assigned to them whenever we click them. So, let's give that a go. So let's press play, go into our game. Let's pause the game, and now let's resume. And there we go, we've now resumed our game. Let's try that again. Excellent. So, let's try it if we pause the game, and now let's just unpause with the escape button. Excellent. Still works. Now, let's try restarting the level. Perfect, we've now restarted. So, one last thing that I am going to quickly do is fix this little issue that we've had for a while now, which is our score. So, let's restart the level and our score still remains 3. So, we now need to come up with a way of resetting that score every time we restart our game. And we can actually do that on the respawning script itself. So if we go into the respawning script, and all this one does, if you remember, is basically just takes us to whatever scene we're on as soon as the scene loads. So let's put an extra line of code before we go to our load scene. So we need to reset our score, and that is in global coins. And we need to reset this one right here, coin count. So in respawning, we need to say global coins dot coin count equals zero, semicolon, and save. So it's always going to be a zero because whenever we enter this particular scene that this script is attached to, we're always going to be going to a new level. So therefore, our score should always be zero. This way, it resets the score before we even get to our level, so it's ready for us when we get there. So let's head back into Unity and just make sure all of that works. So let's restart now, just to make sure it's all good. And let's collect a coin. And now let's restart. And our score is back at zero. Excellent. Let's collect a couple. And restart. There we go. Awesome. So, next tutorial, what I want to do is I want to get this button working, the quit to menu. And that involves us creating a main menu, which is going to be a bit of fun. So we're going to come away from developing in this main scene, at least just for now, because we're going to put together a main menu that's going to have buttons. It's going to look, I guess, however you want it to look. Maybe we'll come up with some cool effects. Uh, and we'll also make some buttons on there, and obviously they'll need tying together. And then we'll get this quit to menu button also working. So everything should come together at least somewhat nicely. There we go. So until that next video, guys, you should really start building up your game now. You make it start looking how you want it to do, because we're almost at the point where we've got a complete level as a template, and we can probably replicate that and create further levels quickly and easily. But we'll get into that a little later on in this series. So until that next video, Thank you very much for watching.